afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day. I think it's Thursday. This would be kind of like a throwback Thursday. So today, instead of me, Bobby, telling you a story, I'm going to uh, talk to you and that little girl with the pigtails. I think she's damn cute, too. <laughs> and here she is. <laughs> He's such a loser. <laughs> end up taking my hat off it's cold out here though it's only like 48 degrees but it's still it's not it's not snowing or anything it's sunny <laughs> I love the sun. <laughs> anyway i was talking i was just gonna just visit with you today i was talking to my mom yesterday it's so funny how when you're um a little kid you know like a baby an infant and then when you get older it all kind of comes back around <laughs> you know my mom was talking about oh walking across the room or riding a bicycle or whatever it's like isn't that funny how when you're little it's like you don't have any hair then you can't wait to get hair and then once you have hair and you start getting older then you don't have any hair <laughs> it's like when you're little you know you don't have a solid poop <laughs> then you get older you still don't have a solid poop <laughs> 54 years old. I'm understanding that more and more all the time. <laughs> oh, Maddie. <laughs> you know, like my mom was talking the other day. She's like, you know, when you're younger, you you don't know how to ride a bicycle. And boy, you want to you want to ride a bike. <laughs> then you get older, it's like you've had your chance. You rode a bike, and then you get to where you can't ride a bike anymore. It's like, oh man, I wish I could ride a bike and run again. <laughs> Just like I, when I was two. <laughs> I mean, it ends up being like wishful thinking, you know, you don't sleep good as a, as a baby, you know, you got colic or whatever, you get older, you don't sleep good, you know, um, but you know, me and my mom was talking sometimes, sometimes I think she forgets how old she is, <laughs> she's like, she's 81, she's going on 12, <laughs> you know, we'll be talking, she'll be like, oh man, <laughs> if I only had a bicycle, I'd get on that and I'd just, I'd just ride down to save a lot. <laughs> get me some milk and a loaf of bread. I said, Mom, you don't have good enough balance to walk from here to the doorway without having a cane or a crutch. You know, we was leaving the house the other day and she got overextended. Her cane was down here and her, she was trying to touch the bottom step and she was trying to reach and shut the door. And she's like, well, whoa, <laughs> I about fell. I'm like, you're not getting a bike. You can't ride a bike. I mean, and think about it. We go from pureed baby food, and then you get, you know, middle age, and you eat like everybody else. And before you know it, you get older, and before you know it, it's pureed again. It's baby food again. <laughs> and it comes out like baby food again. <laughs> and I'm not picking on my mom. It is just a funny process, if you know what I mean. It's like when you're a little kid and everything, you see something, you go like, ooh. Wow, I mean, like, you're just got, you're, hi, baby. I mean, you're just, you're got. And then when you get older, <laughs> you're got again. You know, like, you're a little kid. You're driving in the car, and somebody, you think somebody might run into you. And you kind of go like, whoa. You know, my mom rides with me now. She goes, oh, God, are you close to that yellow liner? <laughs> I'm fine, mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, when you're little, you learn to write in cursive. <laughs> And you get older, it's like, you just, you just kind of write stuff all the time. You make a list. <laughs> Why is that? I do the same thing. I don't know if it's because my mind, they say, you know, like my mind is a steel trap. Nothing gets out, but nothing gets in. It's just like, just like locked down. <laughs> but you make a list all the time. I'm always making a list and I'm writing in cursive. <laughs> I'm breaking all the new rules because you're not supposed to write in cursive. But you know what I'm saying? It's like when you're little, you color a lot. My family, when we get together, all of us girls sit around and just color and visit. <laughs> I'm serious. I think one of the coolest Christmas presents I ever bought my mom was a little, it was almost like a metal case, like a, about the size of a, oh, a cigar box. It was a metal case and it had like a little artsy fartsy stuff on it and when you open it up it had coloring crayons and erasers and color pencils and a pencil sharpener and crayons and my mom was like <laughs> you thought i bought her a new car and she uses it all the time <laughs> it's like her to-go box <laughs> 
And it didn't come with all that stuff in it. I just bought the box. And then I bought all the other stuff separate. You know what's sad? <laughs> I had as much fun buying the stuff as she did getting it. I felt like I was buying school supplies <laughs> for my <laughs> elderly mother. <laughs> it was a perfect gift. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, I think I think the aging thing is kind of a... <laughs> kind of a funny process it's kind of a sad process if you think about it i mean you know um, it's like we go back to our almost our infant stages you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know that that's i mean that's a bit <laughs> depressing <laughs> but at the same time it's kind of like i already know how to be old because i was a little kid at one time if you know how to be a baby then you're probably going to know how to be an old lady <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't mean to say I sound like I'm making fun. I'm not. I've just seen the process. I mean, from from here to here. <laughs> so <laughs> it's funny. You know, when you're a kid, you can't wait for ice cream. I'm the same way. I love me some ice cream. You know, some Rocky Road, <laughs> some vanilla with chocolate chip. I think the mail just came. Wonder if I got any fun things coming in the mail, you know, Jeep stuff. <laughs> but um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this to a halt, Mom. I know you're gonna watch this. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I love you. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> you're just fun to be around. <laughs> you're a lot of fun. We laugh a lot. You're like my best friend. <laughs> I love you. <ya. laughs> Well, I'm going to turn this back to the old fuddy daddy Bobby. Let him sign off, and then um, I'm sure he's got something important to say. <laughs> he's like a loose cannon. <laughs> She's a goofball. <laughs> well, I don't have anything real important to say. Well, Maddie, jump, jump. Get up there, girl. Get up there. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say. But anyway, what I was going to say was... It's almost St. Patty's Day. Did you see my hat? Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's almost St. Patty's Day. That's what it is on Saturday. And me and my girlfriend, some of our friends, we're going to go to, I think it's Indiana Theater. And Mullet Over is going to be there. And I think uh, um, uh, Eddie and the Motivator is going to be there. So we're going to be doing a little bit of... <laughs> maybe a little bit of beverage drinking. A little day drinking, maybe. And then... Um, Probably get our groove on, do a little bit of, do a little bit of dancing, and listen to some great music, hang out with some great people. <laughs> so, um, got our green shirts bought, got our green hats bought. So, anyway, <laughs> so you guys have a good rest of the day. Thanks for watching. I love you. And hopefully I'll get to see you a little bit um, around St. Patty's Day. I got me a real cool <laughs> sequin glittery hat. <laughs> it's all, you know, it's all fancy. That's me. All fancy. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good rest of the day. And we'll talk another time. Hopefully it'll be soon. I love you. And uh, you behave yourselves. <laughs> we'll see ya.